Rockford Soul for Classic Rocks, 96.7 The Eagle. Good morning. It's Double T. Special guest joining me, Brian Tishy. How you doing, Brian? Good. How are you? Good. Drummer extraordinaire. Let's talk a little bit about your resume before we get into this current project. What are some of the bands that you've played with? There's been quite a few, but I guess the play with uh, Warner, Whitesnake, Billy Idol, Ozzy Osbourne, Jeff Tate from Queensryche, Lynch Mob, Don Felder, Zach Wild, Slash, and a bunch more over the past 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been quite the journey for you. And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of great drummers out there that inspired you. But of course, you know, one of the greatest of all time, Neil Peart, had to have been one of the ones that had a major influence on you. Yeah, for sure. Since junior high school up to now, I've always said there's so many great drummers out there that I love, whether it's jazz drummers, funk drummers, classic rock, or current drummers. But I've always kind of gone with, you know, John Bonham, Neil Peart, and Alex Van Halen have always been my top three. And Neil had a huge impact on me when I heard a couple tracks from Moving Pictures as a seventh grader on the radio and immediately went and bought Moving Pictures and fell in love with it and continued to buy the other Rush records and practice to Rush nonstop. And all the way up to the past few years, his impact was so heavy, I decided to put on a couple Rush celebration events. Do it because it means a lot to you. Decades later, I still put Rush on, Neil on, and listen with the same excitement I did as a you know a kid in seventh grade. I'm talking to Brian Tishy. His project is called A Farewell to Kings. Talk a little bit about this band that you put together. Yeah, it started out as a joke with a couple buddies. Like, oh, if you had a Rush tribute band, what would the best name for it be? And I jokingly said, what about Hurry? You know, hey, if we're ever around at the same time, let's do a, you know, a Rush tribute show and call ourselves Hurry. That did end up being an event. And the next year, Rush had finished touring and we changed the event name to Farewell of the Kings. Did a club gig and driving home from Vegas once again said another joke of hey what if we all as a Rush tribute band wrote a song that trying to sound like Rush but called it Huck Finn as a tip of the hat to Tom Sawyer. We all kind of chuckled and then said yeah let's, let's just do it let's see what happens and so we did we got together wrote and recorded the song fully trying to sound like Rush as a complete form of respect. That song Huck Finn has been sitting around all last year so with Neil Peart passing shockingly and took us by surprise we all just said you know even though it's just one song it, it, it is what it is we did it we put the time in we're happy with it let's just put it out there in honor to neil and everything about him and rush where can people find the song huck finn if they want to check it out go to Farewell with the kings on cd baby and it's all there we put the link on our facebook page since i didn't do it i'm not exactly sure how it's working is that tied into uh itunes and spotify and if it's not we're going to get it up there immediately I'm talking to Brian Tishy. Have you ever had an opportunity to meet Neil? Yeah. One of my top highlights of my career that I'll never forget, still when I even talk about it, is pretty surreal because it was a long time ago. I was playing drums for Vinnie Moore, who plays guitar in UFO now. I don't know, a month into the tour or something. At the end of 91, the manager says, hey guys, Eric Johnson can't finish his two weeks opening up for Rush. Something happened, whatever. So you guys are opening up. And we were just like, what? We were playing <laughs> little clubs, you know, in a van. And I was having a great time. It was all good. Not only are we opening up for Rush, but we're going up the East Coast and playing arenas, which included two nights at the Philly Spectrum and Madison Square Garden. The first day at the first arena, I went up to the top corner of the arena and just took pictures. We met the guys after the first or second show, and they were very, very nice. On stage at Madison Square Garden, Neil came on stage after we sound checked, and he and I were talking, and I just asked him something about his bass drum, and he said, oh, have you tried them yet? And I was like, no. And he goes, go ahead. So I went behind his kit. It was about five or ten minutes, and I sat there messing around his kit as he stood in front of it, just chuckling. That was just trippy, because I don't know how many people have actually gotten to play Neil's drums. I know of some other drummers with photos, you know, hanging out with Neil backstage or behind the drums. I look back, and I'm like, geez, man, none of us got photos with the guys. None of us got video. We didn't want to bother them. That was an amazing experience. I'm talking to Brian Tishy. He's got a project called A Farewell to Kings. They have a song paying homage to Rush called Huck Finn. Well, man, thanks so much for taking the time. It was great talking to you. Brian Tishy, go check him out. It's Rockford's home for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle.